Blog Talk Radio. Are you ready to take a bite out of the competition? Are you looking for ideas to make your business better? Welcome to the Core Business Show with Tim GK, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. At the core of every successful business, you'll find people making a difference. And with each episode of The Core Business Show, we talk with those people, examine those ideas, and explore the strategies that make them special. Now, the host of The Core Business Show, Tim Jacquet. Uh, Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Core Business Show. I'm Tim Jacquet, your host. Today, we get back into the fall season starting to book a lot of shows for the fall. We kind of been taking a break for the past six weeks and have done not as many episodes that we normally would do for the course of the month as we prepare for the fall season. Today topic uh six ways your website can move above the competition in the Google search. If you'd like to join in the conversation, you can feel free to call in at three four seven three two four three four six zero. Or you can post a question in the chat room, of course, as usual. Or you can go ahead and shoot me an email at info at the core business show. And I'll go ahead and read your information and see if I can answer on the air. Six ways that you can improve your your Google search in Google. And, of course, you know there's only three main search engines, which is Google. Uh, of course, Bing slash Yahoo is really what it is. But yeah. Being a Yahoo is the really the same search engine, so you really have two. But you have some minor websites that's throughout the world that Dan pack regionally, but Google is number one. You should kind of focus your attention to that. If you do write in Google, the other stuff will actually fall into line. So uh, let's take a break real quick and take a uh, message from our sponsor. We'll be back in a moment. You listen to the Core Business Show. I'm Tim J.K., your host. You're listening to The Core Business Show, sponsored by Apple Capital Group. Apple Capital Group in Jacksonville, Florida, is a commercial lender that specializes in asset-based loans, equipment leasing and financing, invoice financing, commercial real estate loans, and asset-based financing in the U.S. and Canada. Apple Capital Group is a direct lender that lends on their private equity investment portfolio. 90% of most loans are decided within two hours and vendor funding within 24 hours after documents are completed with a one-page application. No slow no's, just a quick decision and a fast yes. To get more information about lending from Apple Capital Group, call 866-611-7457. That's 866-611-7457 to speak with one of our loan specialists. Or visit us right now at applecapitalgroup.com. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Japan. Again, welcome back to the program. Let's go ahead and dive into the six topics. There was a survey conducted early part of this year called Small Business Just Don't Get SEO, which is search engine optimization. It was conducted with an online market coach. And what then 62% of small business don't even rank on the first page on Google, even with one phrase or one, one keyword. This is important that you get to be real specific what your company name is, and it has to relate to what your keyword is. So you want to take a keyword and take a phrase and try to rank for maybe just five of them. There are some suites you can do, kind of, kind of advise you. I think HubZone, you can get that trial offer for a month. You can get also SEO Moz. That would help your site to kind of keep you focused, look at your competition before you you join those groups, and look what you really need to do. And if you're going to use those software, use them religiously for 30 days to figure out how to strategically plan what you need to do for your... Most owners don't understand it. What's Google? It takes some time to understand how the system works, and it takes some dedication to understand what you need to do and the time you need to do it to get your website act me on course. Also, you need to look at, if you can't do it yourself, look at an outside firm to do that for you. So num- number one, let's look at a website. Number one, don't judge a website by its cover. I imp- eye appealing might be one thing, but Google appealing is another. Google is what matters. So you need to keep the balance between the flash, which Google can't read, 
but do a mixture of what can be done that you can give content because it's content driven. Google is content driven. The search engines are content driven. So they want to see content as in pictures. They want to see you contributing to their search engine results, not actually, you know, taking space, dead space with a lot of flash websites. So you might want to give two versions of it. One, hey, look at this for flash pill. But on the back end, make sure you also do the thing to get your site ranked. Just because your website is appealing to the eye doesn't mean that it's a high ranking, earn high ranking in Google. In fact, website aesthetics have very little bearing on the overall search position. Instead, and look at the variables of uh, fresh content, page titles, how you to do the site, how does it influence others. Also, those content items make a world of a difference. So kind of keep that in mind. Number two, consider the content. Make sure you have the right words, the right phrases. Look at your competitors. See what they're doing. Do a right click. See what the code keywords are. See what the key phrases are. See how they're ranking for what they're ranking for. And use that information to put a plan of action. Start small, maybe five or ten items, and work your way up from there. Number two, I mean, number three, I'm sorry, shop for domain names. Look around for a domain name that's going to fit what line of business. If you're in food, do something close to the food. If you're in marketing, close to marketing. If you in plumbing, make sure it relates. Don't be ABC and you're a plumbing company and you don't say that in your title. If you have that in your title, plumbing, Jake's Plumbing or whatever plumbing, Kind of keep it consistent so the search engine will take that keyword of plumbing and apply through the whole, you know, you want to kind of keep that in your whole site. Purchasing on used domains can be cost-effective method in driving traffic since they're already organically already ranking in Google for some things. But kind of keep it where you want to actually have your own brand. It's not necessarily that you need to buy a something that's already out there that's been established. It gives you a little bit more credibility in the search engines, but however, it's not really as important. So kind of keep that in mind as well. Make sure it fits for what you need it to do first. Embrace social media. You must have a Twitter and a Facebook page and a LinkedIn page. And the other stuff, you know, and the Google Plus page. And the rest of them, you know, you can kind of fall into life with that. But make sure you go. Those social media opportunities are free. You, you All you're going to do is making deposits in those accounts and so forth, and you use suites like Hootsuite to communicate with those sites, so you have to keep posting to each site. You have one medium, and you can post it through the whole thing. Also, make the proper connections. Number five, Google looks at the links both to and from a site to determine a page rank. It's because Google consider a word a website uses in the link to help determine the content on the page. For example, Small business owner introduced a healthy number of links, two or three people, I mean, two or three per page to a related site. The exchange in between the sites, kind of, for example, if I post something on entrepreneur, is it related to what I do, finance. So kind of keep that in mind as well. Let's take a short break real quick. We'll be back in a moment to listen to the core business show. I'll be back in a few seconds. Welcome back to The Core. Once again, here's Tim Jacan. Okay, welcome back to The Core Business Show. Give me one moment real quick. I have a question here. Let's see if I can answer it. And we can go ahead and continue with the program. Okay, number six. um, They're asking about hiring an expert. I think you need to do your due diligence with an expert because it's really expensive. The really good ones are expensive. The real bad ones are expensive, and you need to do a lot of searching, get a lot of proposals from search engine companies, and look at the differences between the two. What are they saying? Or are they just getting giving you something that kind of pacify you, or are they giving you something that is giving you just enough to not correct your site? There's some generic things people give just to give for the uneducated. There's some things that people say, okay, this is what you really need to do with your website. And then there's the other people who has credibility, but they're too expensive. Do your homework, but first of all, you need to educate yourself on what you need to look for. Maybe send 
go to the search engines and maybe do 25 or 30 proposals and see what they're coming back with on the page search and within organic rankings and put their contact list and say, this is what I want to do. Look and see exactly what they're proposing first. Do your homework on the company. Do your homework as what you need to do to understand search engine. And you might have to give yourself probably 30 or 60 days to educate yourself so you know you're making a wise decision. If you don't have the time, then hire someone. But do the due diligence. Look at the complaints. Make sure you hire a company that's going to be in your best interest. So anyway, let's recap real quick. Uh, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge a website by its cover. So make sure that if you don't look at a company, make sure you compare it apples to apples. All the flash and glimmer doesn't equal success. Okay. Number two, but also look at what market you're appealing to. Okay. Number two, consider your content is always important. Number three, shop for domain names. You can shop, but make sure it's specific on what you actually branding. Number four, embrace social media. Number five, make proper connections. Number six, hire an expert again. Everybody, thank you for listening. And this is Tim with the Core Business Show. Thank you for listening. Everybody have a great day, and if you want to get some highlights on this, look at our website at blog.applecapitalgroup. That is the something we posted on the 21st, which was just Friday. Take a look at that article and give you a little bit more details about it. Everybody, thank you for listening. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet. For a free quote on equipment leasing and financing, visit our website, applecapitalgroup.com. That's applecapitalgroup.com. And fill out the information to receive your free quote. We hope you'll join us for our next episode. And remember, you can always get to The Core via iTunes. You'll find all our previous episodes there. Thanks again for listening to The Core Business Show with Tim Jacquet.